2019 volunteer season is 27 Arian Foster days away. And Vols fans, let me know, are y'all even excited about this season? Because for the first time in ever, I'm just, I'm not excited. I don't, I don't understand how Vols fans could be excited. Um, it's just, we got four and eight, five and seven players. We're going to stick with the same garbage quarterback that we're sticking with. Um, I just, I don't get it. Um, the ceiling this year is six and six, and I truly believe that. We can go by game by game here in a few minutes of what I think is going to happen, but I mean, I just, I don't understand how you, you're going to be able to tell yourselves we're going to, there's Vols fans out there that think that we're winning eight games and they're delusional. To win eight games, you have to win every single SEC game besides basically what, Georgia, Florida, Alabama, and then you have to win all of them except for one other one. And I don't think, I think I looked it up. We haven't finished over. I think our best finish in the conference was 5-3 and three since like 2008. I may be wrong about that. So that's not going to happen. But let's just start out with some of these games. Um, Georgia State, start off of the year. That'll be a win. We'll probably struggle, you know, like we do against UMass. And it's honestly, it's a no win because you should you should blow Georgia State out. And then, but if you don't, then it's like, hey, why are we struggling? But it's just, it'll be the same old Tennessee. Then we play BYU. I'm excited about that game. We got a home and home with them. I'm looking forward, hopefully in 20, I think it's 2021. I want to make the trip out to Provo. I think it's like an hour or something away from Salt Lake City, so... It'd be a good little road trip. Well, I'm not driving. I'll be flying. Game three. Well, BYU's a toss-up. We'll get back to that one in a minute. Then we play Chattanooga. Should be a blowout. We're going to take that L when we head to Gainesville. No doubt about it. Don't get your hopes up, Vols fans. Don't get brainwashed thinking we're going to win. It's not going to happen. Georgia comes to Neyland Stadium. Last time they came to Neyland in 2017. 41 and nothing. Ass whipping. Probably same thing's gonna happen again. Georgia's more talented than us. I'm not. I'm not afraid to say it. Um, they have athletes. We don't. That game is probably gonna be ugly. We're, you, if you're going to Neyland Stadium for that game, um, we're gonna be able to leave. You know, really early. That ain't being negative. It's just being truthful. Mississippi State. I see another L. Alabama. We're not on the same level as Alabama. You know, in the past, what they got us twelve games there in a row. We've only had it close, what in two thousand nine, and then like when Dobbs was here, twenty fourteen, I think. No, it would have been twenty fifteen. We've only had it within one score in those two times out of twelve years. It's gonna be another loss. <clears throat> then we, then South Carolina comes to Neyland Stadium, Halloween week. We haven't proven that we can beat Will Muschamp, so he's probably gonna get us again. And yes, I realize I got us five losses in a row. And it's going to be at this point in the season, is the team going to be a quitters and give up like they have for the past two years? Or are they going to fight? Because when UAB comes to town, UAB is not a joke. Well, I mean, the football program is a joke, but they're better. They're pretty good this year. They're not the UAB of years past, but hell, I remember a game UAB came to Neyland and it took us to double overtime to beat them. That could very well happen again. Then the last three games, Kentucky, Missouri, and Vanderbilt. We haven't proven that we can beat any of these teams besides Kentucky. So, Vols fans, let me ask you, what makes you think that, we can, that we're going to win any of those games? And just looking at the schedule, I just... I know we're not going to go 0-8 in the conference, so that would give us one win. Three out of the four cupcake games, that would give us four wins. And then I want to think that we can beat BYU. That puts us at five wins. I really don't know where we're going to get the sixth win from, to be to be honest with you. Um, and then you just you just read the comments on all the pages, and Vols fans are just they're they're excited about the season, and you're not going to get it from this Vols fan. I'll be at every game. My season tickets came this week, as I'm always at the games. I don't know why I put myself through this hell. Um, I don't know. I keep thinking maybe one day we'll get better, but it's sure it's not going to be this year. So, 
But as far as that's over with, football season's here, and that's exciting time. I can't wait. Um, even though we're going to suck, you know, I'm still going to have fun and give these other teams hell because most of the other teams suck as well. Tennessee's not the only one. But like I said, 27 days away. Can't wait. Football time will be here. High school football kicks off soon. Just counting down the days. Go Big Orange as always. Y'all have a good one.